Hello everyone, in this video we will try to understand what are TT files. You might have seen a new files with extensions as .tt. TT stands for T4 template. Now what are TT files? We will see that practically. Let us consider a scenario. Say I want to write a code or I want to write a class where I have some 10 properties and properties are p1, p2, p3 till p10. Now what do you think if I write some programming logic and put this in for loop and I iterate the value of i from 1 till 10. That means I can generate this code automatically by writing some programming logic. Yes, tt files are nothing but code generators they generate the code automatically by taking some programming logic as input. Now I'll just right click and say add new item. I'll go for text template. I'll name it as my file. Say OK. Now you can see that the output that means the code whatever it is going to generate will be of type .txt it means it is going to generate a text file I want it to generate a CS file say ok now I want to write this code that means I want public class class name bracket open bracket close so I'll write that as is public class my class bracket open and bracket close now if we observe this here I want to write these properties and I want to put this in for loop so I'll go for this for loop int i equals 1 i less than or equals to 10 i plus plus and I want to print this or I want to repeat this then p instead of 1 it should be i now from here till here it is code and this close bracket is also code and instead of i I want to display the value of i which is also a code or C sharp code so I should put this code in less than hash and hash greater than tags Let's close bracket again I'll put it in less than hash then hash greater than and I I want to display the value of I so I'll say less than hash equal to less than hash equal to then hash greater than that's it now I'll say save this is the syntax that we need to follow if everything is saved successfully that means it has generated the code now where should I look for the code you can see this is the TT file if I explore this inside this it has generated my file dot cs now I'll double click this file now you can see this my class then property p1 p2 p3 p4 p10 that means if I want some hundred properties I need to simply write hundred and say save say ok look into this then you, you should find hundred properties so TT is nothing but T4 text template. So T4 stands for Text Template Transformation Toolkit. So it is a kind of toolkit and this is supported by your Visual Studio so that you can generate the code automatically. Now I want to create another class but this time all the property names I want to read it from an array. Now I'll define an array less than hash 
array of string s equals to say student id s id s name age then hash greater than now my class name is student and all the properties I want to get it from this array so I'll go for for each loop where item in s So from here till here it is C sharp code and from here till close bracket it is again C sharp code. Now here I want to display or I want to have all the properties so I'll say public string less than hash equals to item hash greater than get set that's it now it should create a class student with properties student id student name and age let me save this and say ok everything is saved successfully now let me go for this another class that is student So here I have got a class student with student ID, student name and age. Now what if instead of giving these values in this array if I read this from a file. Let me reduce this to 10 and save this. Say OK. Say for example I have a file in D colon or in f colon I have a text file I'll say new text document I'll name it as my data so in this say I have the properties student ID student name email and say average now save this now I want to read these values and create a class with all these four things as properties now to do that again we have the same code let me copy this now here I'll say this array as s2 from s2 and class name as new student now instead of getting these things I need to read it from the text file which is in f colon so how do I read that to read that I have this single line of code that is nothing but system dot io dot file dot read all lines from f colon that is f colon and file name is my data dot txt and let me save this yes everything is successful now let me look into this file should be able to see that class new student with four properties now what if I go and add few more properties contact and address I'll save this and I'll come to my TT file save this okay and here you should see the magic that you have two more properties 
so here you need not to worry about writing this code as of now just you need to understand the logic that means what these TT files are doing these TT files are reading the information from this text file this is the source file for them and converting them into a C sharp code that is the output so TT files are nothing but code generators so as input they are taking dot txt and reading it in dot tt file finally they are producing dot cs so this is the same concept that your entity framework 5 or 6 is using to generate your model classes automatically means what as input it is reading dot edmx file that is an xml file and it is read by your tt files you can say two tt files and finally they are generating two cs files so on this concept your entity framework or you can say latest version of entity framework is working so here you need not to worry much about writing this code but you need to have an idea how your entity framework code is generated automatically with the help of tt files so that's it for this video thank you very much